$25,000 for down payment assistance. That is what we're talking about today. We're talking about the Equity Act of 2021, which was $25,000 for down payment. Federal tax dollars put aside within the budget to be able to basically help affordable housing. That's what our topic is today. How you can be a part of it, where it's at in the process, how you can get down payment funds. My name is Ryan Skaggs and this is the Mortgage Minute. This channel dedicated to everything mortgage, real estate, and interest rates. Make sure and click that subscribe, putting out weekly videos on the channel on all relatable topics. Now, let's dive into the Down Payment Toward Equity Act of 2021. Every single time they've got these long names. So I'm going to try to read it from the board here so I don't mess it up. But the Equity Act of 21 was basically first generational home buyers. So you're the first generation to potentially be purchasing a home, first time home buyers, primary residents, low to moderate income. That's kind of the parameters of what they were looking for. Um, when they were going to potentially be able to give this grant or give these funds towards closing costs, getting a lower interest rate, paying points, things like that. So where do we stand today? This was way back during inauguration. This was a campaign promise. I actually made a video. I think maybe I made a live stream, to be honest, of when the inauguration was happening. And they, I, I was saying how this is going to affect the housing market. But either way, if I can find it, I'll try to link above. Uh, but basically, campaign promise 25 k to help first time home buyers and or maybe more inclusive of first generational home buyers purchase a home. So let me give you a quick little run through September of 21. It was introduced to the Senate uh, just uh, that summer, got introduced to the House. February of 22, June of 22, Senate hearings. Uh, skip ahead to March of 2023 when the uh, administration of the White House actually allocated $175 billion towards affordable housing and $10 billion towards this cash grant program. This is where I'm going to stop. I want to know, do you think $175 billion of taxpayer dollars towards affordable housing is a good idea? I want to hear your comments below. I don't care if you're right, left, purple, red, blue, whatever else. Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think putting kind of taxpayer dollars or grant programs from the federal government, not the state, but the federal government is a good idea? We're going to talk a little bit about the state here in just a moment. But that $10 billion grants or that $10 billion budget allocation, let's call it, let me give you a little sense of what that would be. That's 600, 600 to 700 per month could be getting this grant per state. So that basically means 20 or so per day. So if you're thinking about in your state, I'm from Indiana, I live in Illinois now, I serve the greater Chicago land market, included other states that I have licenses in, but if you think about 20 per day, it doesn't seem like a lot, but if it's for the right people, then maybe that's just the right amount. Again, I'd love to hear your comments below, but basically 600 to 700 per month per state is approximately what that $10 billion grant that was set aside for. Now, again, that was March of 2023. So let's march forward now. June and July, summer of 23, the bill was actually introduced. 31 members uh, of Congress co-sponsor. Uh, the bill starts getting some legs. We've got an extra four that come on board to quote unquote co-sponsor the bill. Um, and to be honest, that's really where we stand today. We're into 2024. We're into an election year in case you didn't know. And guess what? We do not have a law that says this is funds that are available yet. So um, will it come to fruition? Who knows? But in an election year, I would say probably not. With that said, if you go back, there are always, there are typically always some sort of kind of pet projects that do get kind of thrown in there at the very end because nobody knows who's going to kind of be in charge here, um, you know, come January, right? So um, there is potential for something like that, but in an election year, this is going to be really tough to be able to get this all the way through. So that's where we stand on the 25K. There's still state agencies that would be out there. So wherever you're at, if you're in the United States, you need to be looking at your state agencies. If you want to better understand how to find down payment assistance programs and grant programs, make sure and watch. I made a five video series about first time home buyers, grants, all kinds of good stuff. 
So make sure and check that out, but your state agencies are typically the best place to do it. And then local lenders like myself, I'm local again to the Chicago and Illinois market. We are headquartered here in Illinois. We have our own proprietary down payment assistance program that's got our own specifics. We won't talk about it today, that's not what this is for. But with that said, local lenders would potentially have some sort of down payment assistance programs as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll wrap it up there. Again, I'd love to hear your comments below. I'd be forever grateful for that. Subscribe, got 400 plus subscribers on my way to a thousand. Stay safe and we'll see each other again very, very soon.